Welcome back everyone to 4 Minute Friday, Shepherding 101. Today we're going to talk about sheep cuisine. Now a lot of you are new to sheep or you want to get some sheep, so this video is for you. If you've had sheep for a little while, maybe you'll find something helpful. And if you know something that I didn't mention, please put it down in the comments and I would love to hear what you have to say. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the like down below and let's get started. One of the top things that you're gonna feed your sheep, obviously, is hay because they're ruminants, right? Okay, well, there's a lot of different kinds of hay. You can feed them, you got alfalfa, you've got first cut, second crop, timothy, ryegrass, oat grass, blah, blah, you're gonna do. So first crop hay typically is all you need for sheep and they're, they're ruminants, so they've got four stomachs like a cow and they're gonna basically eat their food, kind of put it back in their mouth, chew it again, put it back in their stomach, put it back in their mouth, chew it again. Second crop hay is what I typically would feed my ewes who are lactating, and you can do that instead of feeding grain because they're gonna need a little bit more protein. First crop hay typically is a thicker, coarser hay. It's greenish, but second crop hay is gonna be a lot more green, and it's gonna be finer hay, the leaves will be finer, and it's higher in protein. So typically a sheep is fine with first crop hay, and it's also much cheaper to buy. So when you buy hay, you want it to be not brown you want it to have a greenish color and you want it to not be dusty if you feed them too much what they're going to do is they're just going to pull that hay into their stall and it's going to end up being bedding the sheep and goats are terrible for this they pull all their hay out and then they stomp on it and mess on it and then you got all that waste so the, the best way to feed sheep is with a, a feeder that's that's up high so they have to pull down on it and you want it to have slats in it so they can't get their head stuck in it but you don't want to be able to pull a whole leaf of hay out either. So some people will call it flakes or leaves, and so I don't want you to confuse it with like the leaves of the grass, but like when the baler is making hay, it, it packs it into these little flakes. So the best thing to do when you're feeding sheep, and it depends on the size of the sheep, but figure about five pounds of roughage a day per sheep, and it's actually 0 0.03 pounds per pound of the body weight of the animal so you could do that math too if you want but let's just say five pounds for 150 to 200 pound sheep and so a couple of flakes first thing in the morning is what I, I give out so figure about five pounds of roughage per animal per day and then you can figure out how many pounds uh, an average hay bale is and you can multiply that times how many days you're going to need in the winter and then you can figure out how much hay you need right so that goes to number two let's talk about grains okay you can buy a sheep complete pellet, which which they'll sell you at the feed store, and it'll say it's $17 a bag, and that's all you have to feed it, but you have to figure out, uh, you know, 2% of the body weight of the animal per day, and that's how much you have to feed them. So you're gonna end up paying a lot of money for a sheep complete pellet, and, and it's really not that great for them because they want roughage, you know, they need the protein, they need fiber, and it's like you eating, you know, a box of Cheerios every day instead of eating salad, it's just gonna, it's just not good for them. So. Typically what I'll do for my sheep is when they're lactating, I'll get a little bit of sheep complete and that's got some minerals and, and some vitamins in it that I give her and or them. One thing about the animals being ruminants is that um, if you make changes to their feed, you wanna do it slowly. So like when you put them out in the springtime, you wanna supplement with hay and otherwise they'll, they'll get sick off that green grass and it leads to some problems in their stomach. Let's talk about minerals. Now, some people I've seen, they get the little mineral boxes and they get them all lined up and they go buy every separate min mineral and they think the sheep is are deprived of this mineral more, so they keep filling it up. And it's actually kind of hogwash. What, what they are doing is they just think it tastes better, so they're just eating more. A, a sheep is not capable of determining how many minerals she needs or he needs, okay? It's like you, you don't know. You take a multivitamin, but you don't you don't know that you're lacking vitamin D or selenium or copper or zinc, etc. So you want a, a sheep mineral, and you can buy that at your feed store. And what I do is I put that in a feeder, a mineral feeder on the wall, and that's perfectly okay. Hopefully this has been a helpful video to you. If if you liked it, please remember to, to click like, and if you have questions or comments, put them down below. And I really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.